Did you see a picture of her not too long ago where she looked a little out of shape? Yeah, I got to talk to her about the. You look good, baby. Thank you. Got to say, I mean, like Robin just said, we saw, after you were on the show the last time, yeah. and you were in the tabloids, they had you like 900 pounds. I don't know if that was trick photography. I went it was trick photography. Now, yeah. be honest. I swear to God, I was 50, maybe 10, 15 pounds. Okay, but I'm 5'2". So how did so they if do I that? Gained, I don't know how they do it, but they get, you know, like I would, every time there'd be like a series of photos taken, I would watch, in the, and I'd see the whole series, and I'd go, that's the most unflattering, that's the worst one, they're going to put that, and then they, they do whatever they do with it, and then they, you know, they would always put it on the cover. Yeah, because I was like sitting there going, man, I met her, she was hot, Yeah. and like a definite total package that I would give, give it to very hard. <laughs> And then everyone says to me, you're crazy. She's a big, fat chick. Right. And yeah. I went, no, I'm telling you, she was not, there wasn't an ounce of fat on this woman. No. Well, what happened was, I think it was like the first, when I went on tour, the tabloids were kind of quiet through my whole last record. And then they didn't like what was happening, I think, because it, you know, was working for me. And so they decided to go on a campaign, basically, to start making me look like what became my dad in the end. And I think that was right. kind of what was behind it. You imagine if your father lived and you took me home to meet your father? Yeah. He'd have that whole hillbilly posse beat the crap out of me. <laughs> right. He wouldn't let me do it. What would he have done to Michael Jackson? Oh, oh forget it. He would have. He would have just chopped him up. <coughs> who are uh, Alicia Marie? Who are you dating? <laughs> Daddy. Right, let me just say, do I want to play this Howard Stern or Michael Jackson? Daddy. Michael Jackson. I want to spank your little ass. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine what your pops would have done if I came home with you? <laughs> that's, it, that's the move. Bring me home with you and then tell him you're marrying Michael Jackson. Right. He'll be relieved. Cushion Would the blow. Would Priscilla ever try to advise you about these choices you've made? Bring me home to Priscilla and tell her that you're thinking of dating me. God. Let's just shock the you crowd. You know what I am? I'm a piece of steak in a shark tank right now. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. You love it. You love me making a fuss over you. <laughs> I, I would do you hard, baby. I'd make you love me so bad, you'd give me everything. Well, who is the guy of the hour? Who's giving it the to you? The guy of the hour. The guy for the last year and a half is my my um my musical director, guitar player. My oh, guy. you're doing him. Oh, you got to do him. <laughs> what, did he inspire you to do the album? That son of a bitch. Thinks he's going to be rich. F you, pal. A guitar player. No, she ain't marrying you, and if she does, you're signing such a hefty prenup, your head will spin. Are you getting married again? She's engaged. No. You're rumored to be engaged. I'm rumored to be everything. You're engaged. How many times you going to get married? How many times have you been married? You're so done. far. Two? I can't believe you don't know the answer. It's three. Three? Three. Yeah. I you wish, know them all. I wish I, could, I wish I could dig up your father right now and have him yell at you. You really? are not allowed to get married. That is lovely. You are not married <coughs> again. She's got You're not good Danny at Danny Keough, Michael Jackson, and Nicolas Cage. Nick, oh, yeah, I forgot about yeah. him. Nicolas Cage. Oh, that's such history. Can we get over it? Good now? God almighty. <laughs> <laughs> the, the man's married and has a baby on the way. Leave him alone. Can you believe this guy? Oh, no. <laughs> Can we drop this? And now your daughter's modeling? Hey, your yeah. daughter's hot. Yeah, yeah, she is. I do yeah. both of you. Oh, God. You know what? I do your mom, oh, I do you, and your daughter. You do all three generations. I do all three generations. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? And, yeah, what would, and what would that do for you? It would make me more of a man. Really? Oh, yeah. More than you already are? Oh, of course. To have all three Presley girls? <laughs> I would go down in Poontang history. Would actually make him more than just Howard. <laughs> I'd be a professor at Poontang University. How can you actually manage to look charming while you're saying all that? I right have now? no idea. I don't know what I'm saying. You get a, a sweet smile on your face. Because you're in love with me and oh, you want that's it. That's true. You know what? The last time I came on here, I, I think I gave you a compliment and then you went off because you said something afterwards. What was that? I said, I'm going to give it to you. I know. Um, I'm going to give you my sausage. <laughs> <laughs> she was attracted to you. I think you're attractive. I'll be honest. I, and I was so afraid you were going to walk in here and I have to lie and say you were attractive because of those pictures in the paper were hideous. Oh, tell I me about it. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. They really pissed me off. Lisa Marie's cellulite. Lisa Marie's this, yeah. this, and that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They, it was It was like a campaign they went on. And you are looking boxy. Off. And then I would go out and someone would go take it. I did a Vogue shoot right in the middle of all that to try to show something else. Nope. They wouldn't show any flattering I like the mini whatsoever. skirt. And I'm not a fan of fish, but you you're look not. good. <laughs> I know. I thought I was going to get in trouble for the stockings. You wearing panties? Um, probably, yes. You don't even know. I don't That's remember. <laughs> Who dresses you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm wearing them. <clears throat> no bra today for me? No, no bra. Look at you. <laughs> Getting crazy for me. So how long have you been doing this guy? A year and a half, huh? Yeah. And you're going to get married again. It ain't going to work. 
really? You're not the Marion type, my love. I will guarantee you that this one will work. <laughs> oh, stop. I will. I'll be, we'll be together until one of us is dead. No. <laughs> I promise you. Don't say it. Look at me. You're wealthy. You're independent. Why do you need to be married? You want to have more kids? Yes. No. Oh. Yeah, I do. Why? Because that's what I like doing. I like being a mom. You, if you're into your man, you should just, like, retire with him. Go to bed together, watch movies, have sex, spend that goddamn Elvis money. <laughs> oh my God, what I would do with that empire? You and I would have what several the hell homes. Would you do with it? <laughs> several homes. Yeah, and then and then more homes. You gotta get a and you spend all your time traveling from home to home. I would just to home. I'd be packing constantly. <laughs> and I'd take you from home to home. I'd have sex with you in the hot weather, the cold weather. You're a catch and a half. So you're doing a tour on the album. You did Good Morning America. I heard Diane Sawyer was a real snake. Well, you know, she, no, she just she just started with um, I love the record, I love the record, and then as soon as we got on the camera, it was you know Michael Jackson again, and I was See? like, you got to be kidding me. But See, let me tell you something that goes on with these interviews because I was a victim of this when I was out promoting my movie. Mm -hmm. I sat with Katie Couric in a room. Yeah. I'm sitting as close to this broad as you and I are sitting next to each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, she says to me, I got to tell you something. I love you. I said, thank you. I saw your movie. I thought it was brilliant. Mm -hmm. I said, thank you. The, the camera starts rolling for the interview. How can you be so goddamn disgusting on the air? And blah, 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 blah. blah. I, I said, so I, t I confronted her on the air. I said, two seconds ago, you told me you saw my movie and you love me. How right. come you won't say it? Right. I never said that. She said that. Yeah. That's their move. Yeah, that's what happened yesterday. I, she said, I love the record. I listened to it. I said, we'll say it on the air then. No. And she was like, I will. What do you, you know, and then, I, you know, we get on there and she, <laughs> I was just like, can we stop? And now, I don't know if it's coincidence or what with the whole, like, now I'm in the paper for the... Well, Michael every, Jackson. Every time I put a record out, he's flaring up and I, and now it's, I'm constantly associated. And honestly, I have not said anything different than I've been saying the entire time. And it doesn't it doesn't make you look good as an artist because right. everyone gets hung up on the fact that wow how did she marry such a kook like Michael Jackson then right. they think you're cuckoo so I try to clarify it and then the next thing I know I'm I'm now in the post with you know the whole what did I it's just it's every thing every piece that's been being run is basically you know what does she know this and that and then it shows mm. the segment and I, I know nothing and I'm not talking about it or I'm just going whatever so you know some stuff you just don't, <laughs> you're, you're a good girl you don't open your mouth about it. <clears throat> what, what, now, I, this was 12 years ago. I mean, I was, it's stale dated. It's boring and done, and, you know, I've mm, tried... It's never boring. It. Well, it, obviously... You in bed with Michael Jackson is never boring. It flares up every time I put a record out, which is like, I don't know what the... I can't imagine the on him doing you. I can't. That's insane. Although, if I was in bed with you, that would cross my mind, i got to be honest. <clears throat> but I'd still do you. <laughs> I wouldn't stop you. No, not... A, are you kidding? <laughs> wouldn't stop me for a minute. I just wonder, like... Does she like me because she's crazy? You know what I mean? Because people are always going to think you might be a little bit wild because of Michael Jackson. <laughs> Even I would have. Well, you know thought. what I always wonder about? You know, she knows her parents' whole history. Yeah, you got a good book in you. And does that ever, you know, I mean, do you ever, I mean, because we think about it, you know, we sit there and we go, wow, you know, your mother went to live with your father when she was... What? 14. 14 years old? No, I think she was 16. Yeah, and your mother could never, ever discipline you because Just all you have to do is throw it in their face. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you go, hey, you're telling me I'm bad? Yeah. You lived with Dad when you were 16. Yeah. When he was 48. Yeah. Well, he wasn't quite well, 48, whatever. but <clears throat> that was pretty odd that, you know, she basically, you know, he, when she got a report card, she had to take it home to him. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was my grandfather that was sort of overseeing the whole thing, but yeah. You still drinking heavily? No. What happened? I don't know. That was I mean, kind of fun. you know, occasionally. I mean, I'll do it like, you know, when I, have, I don't have anything to do when I have time off. But Maybe that's why you put on the weight. You were drinking too give much. Give me a break. You did put on I 15. I didn't drink that much. I had 10, 15, I don't even know. But I'm short, so if I put on any weight, you see it very fast. Yeah. And what's with that daughter of yours? What's her story? She's um, modeling? Yeah, she's, you know, she kind of goes out and does her thing and comes back and goes to school, so she's keeping it. How old um, is she? She's about to be 16. Yeah, she's a tough one to keep in line. You she's, think? She's doing good. Yeah, she's super hot, is what the problem oh, is. Oh, you that, but you she's mean. really got a great head on her shoulders, I have to say. She got a boyfriend? Um. You better hope not. No. <laughs> you had that talk with her yet? We've had talks. You want me to talk to her about it? No. What, what are you, you going to tell her? <laughs> that you're going to do her, what you're going to say. <laughs> no, I would wait till she's 18, then I'd do her. Oh I would never do a girl who's 16. Oh, my goodness. I'd do you for two years, and then I'd do you and your daughter. Oh, my God. That's how it would work.
Watch up. I was just looking through the notes for Lisa Marie. So some interesting things. What like, do you got? Oh, um, she li- she likes her sex <laughs> like like the way it is in porn movies. Sex a little rough, like the way they do it. In oh, porn I movies. do that to her. I'd smack her around. Well, did you like your hair pulled? And that was a, that was a little taken out of context. That's oh, but, please. It was. Be, I'd be like. Oh, you think you're a big shot, huh? You think you're a big shot, Elvis's daughter. Well, now we're in bed. Now everything's equal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All about Elvis's daughter. I think that's the last thing she wants to hear. No, she likes it when I yell about it. There was another weird thing in the notes, too, Howard, that I what? saw. Uh-oh. I guess no, well, you were just trouble. You I know. There, you're so nice to me, and you walk I in here. He's like know. Diane Sawyer. Uh-huh. <laughs> to me, she's not Elvis's daughter. She's Nick Cage's wife. Oh. <laughs> no, I sort of know. I guess there was a guy... That her mom used to date, that she hates, and he wrote this book about her, about Who? Lisa Marie. Oh yeah, saying that you know when Lisa Marie was first developing, he started to have some feelings for her. Oh no! Oh, and, wow. and she said that he came into her room at times and was inappropriate. I don't know what that means. Yikes! I Who can't believe that? you actually came out with that. It's true. Wow! It Did he touch you? Because I'll kill him. Um, didn't actually make it there, but uh, you know, tried. Wow. Really? Yeah. Did you tell your mom? Yep. <laughs> and did she give him the boot? Yeah, you know, it was a it was a battle, that one. Really? Because you would think once you said it to your mom, she would just go, hey, I'm protecting my daughter. Well, no, she did. She did. She got, she threw him out, but it was, a, it was a bit of a, you know, it was a bit of a situation. How old were you, if you don't mind me? Um, between the ages, I think I was between 12 and 15. Wow. wow. That's a little young. Yeah. He never got anywhere with it, by the way. He just alluded. It was disgusting. And he wrote a book. And then did the the talk show circuit, and um, I think got you know booed off stage most of the time. Oh. He was saying he was lusting after me when I was really? developing, which is gross. That is gross. So, how long uh, how long are you in New York? I'm leaving today. That's too bad. We could have party. <laughs> <laughs> we could have had a good time. Ralph, go ahead. You're on with Lisa Marie Presley. Her album now what? Featuring the single "Dirty Laundry" is available in stores April fifth. Hey now, very good guest. Uh, yeah, hey, like you know what's funny? Last time she was on, I was over your house, and you were telling me how she was kind of into you and kind of flirting with you. Yeah, she and, wants it for me. Then, I know. And then we turned on Letterman, and she's saying the exact same thing to him. You look like a younger glow. person. That so sucked. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm, I'm Ralph's over the house, and I go, i got to tell you this, Lisa Marie Presley. Pretty sure That's I can get her. That's what I was talking about earlier. Yeah. This is what I was referring to. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I am pretty sure I can get her. Yeah. I'm telling you, she was kind of giving me the eye. I'm right. telling you, I think she wants it. <laughs> I was sitting there and going, goes, oh, wow, wow, really? That's pretty good, man. I go, yeah, you know, if I wasn't with Beth, I definitely would ask her out and be doing her. Uh-huh. And I don't think, you know, I think we'd get down to it right away. We're both adults. <laughs> we know we need it. And no gameplay. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we don't need romance. <laughs> we know what we both need. <laughs> and then? So then... Pop and Letterman. Pop and Letterman, because I have this yeah. tape. Right. L- Lisa Marie Presley on Letterman. Say, hey, Ralph, I go, let's watch it. She's yeah, check her, let's her out. Yeah, let's check her out. Pop in the tape, we're sitting there. She's totally coming on to Letterman. <laughs> I think he's good looking. I Thank do. Thank you very much. I like him. Dave, you are good looking. Well, I was. there was one question I forgot <laughs> to ask her during the interview, and I was, I was going to ask her if I could smell her. But, oh, uh, that's uh, outrageous. Yeah. That's oh, inappropriate. You're disgusting. Go. You're <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> no, Howard, I didn't say that to anybody else. Yeah, but then, then, then you say the Letterman, you look younger in person, which is exactly what you said to Howard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got up and go, yes, yeah, she wants you, and I left. Yeah, right. and then Ralph laughed at me, and there's nothing worse than Ralph. And you know Ralph. what you did? You, yeah, right. you accused me of saying of, of having a PR machine behind me or somebody that like coaches me to say that, which is absolute crap. I said exactly what I thought. I said it to you, I said it to him, and that was the only... Well, the only way I'm going to believe you is if you do me, so... Give me a it. break. And that's how it's going to we'll go down between us. You're all talk. I think she said it to Dan Rather, too. No, Larry Dan King. Rather. Did you come on to Larry King? I knew it. <laughs> I understand I look younger in person. <laughs> I look 50 in person. Dougie, go ahead. You're on the air with Lisa Marie Presley, the new album. Oh, for Lisa Marie's tour dates. You're going back out on the road. Yeah. Hi, like Lisa. That? How are you? Yes. I'm good. How are you? Go to LisaMariePresley.com. Lisa, first of all, I just want to say, you know what? There'll never be anybody else like your dad. He was the best. He really was. Thank you. And also, there'll never... <laughs> Uh, there never be anybody else like you, Howard, hopefully. You don't know yeah, believe me. I'm, I'm, Lisa, uh, yeah. I want to ask you, okay, without, like, you know, <laughs> trashing anybody, who is a stranger person? Or, or is there really a normal side to Michael Jackson other than what we see? And also, too... Who is a stranger person, me or Michael Jackson? No, Nicholas Cage. Oh, Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage is stranger than Michael Jackson. No, that's no way. <laughs> yeah, my money's on that. Wait, let's bet before you answer. Who do you think is stranger? Uh, Michael's got to be stranger than Nicholas. I bet you she says Nicholas Cage. All right, let's see. All right, no, go ahead. I don't, I, I don't even know what to say to that one. 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not asking you to drag anybody through the mud, but who was more eccentric? How about that? Yeah, there you go. Well, what, that would, what would be the obvious answer to that question? Michael Jack is plain weird. Nicholas used to pretend he's Elvis when he was with Lisa. That, well, that's I don't think she not, got not, that. No, she didn't, didn't see it. <laughs> No, he did not. Yeah. He's he still the, doing it. But you live with them. <laughs> Lisa, you live with them. I you think, live with them. I think the answer to that's pretty obvious. It is. Yes. Now, let me ask you one more question, please. Can I ask you a question? When you're with a guy, let's say, okay, any of your husbands, I don't care, or do you put out right away on the first date, or does your guy have to romance you? <clears throat> um, no, they t it took a little while. Even uh, with uh, Nicholas? Yep, took a while. What about your dad? What was it like living with your dad? Tell us, please. Tell you she don't even she remember. She was a young girl. She was a Kid. baby. How old were you when he died? You nine. were little... I was nine. She was nine. She but you have to remember something. What? Shut up. You don't have to remember anything. Yeah, get out of here. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Something's a private. Get out of here. And marrying you is the hit of mother love. <laughs> You're good looking. Yeah. Forget about it. Put your prenup you up. You won't get anything. Would you make me sign a prenup? I didn't have a prenup with my first husband. You did? No, I did not. Oh, that lucky bastard. <laughs> He's not, no, he didn't do, I think. What's he know. worth now, that guy? He's got a he kid. Doesn't, he didn't do any of that to me. Come on. No, he didn't. He walked away with nothing. Dignity. Dignity? He walked away with nothing. He's, Dignity, schmignity. Yeah. I'd walk away with a mother love. <laughs> nope. He didn't take a dime from Not me. a damn dime. He's crazy. So what's he doing, working at the post office no, now? No, he actually so, is in my band right so now. So between him, <laughs> Nick Cage, and Michael Jackson, he was the craziest. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs> I'd have hound dog money. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I'd clean you right out. Wow. I'd leave you penniless. <laughs> you would not, and you know you wouldn't. Stop it. Lisa, your album, Now. Now what? Now what? What do you mean, now what? Just now what? All right. Featuring the single Dirty Laundry is available in stores April 5th. It's Tuesday. It comes out. You're nice to me. I'll get this on the radio every day for you. Really? Yeah. If you put on a little bit. Oh, <laughs> God. That's what we call plugola. Yeah. yeah baby. How about a little that? Yeah. How about a little payola? Poontangola. That's right. <laughs> Believe me, I'm better looking than Nick Cage. I would agree with you there. I am. I don't care what anyone says. You want to argue that? Step outside. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Right. I am better looking than him. You're better looking than Michael Jackson. I am. I really am. You might not realize it, but I am. <laughs> I, yeah. So, don't act all coy with me. Okay. Any chance you'll be asked to testify? Nope. Too bad. I don't have anything interesting to say on either side, I guarantee you. Smart. Keep your mouth shut. Oh, it's shut. You know, this is crazy. Anyway. Did you ever meet the other wife? What other wife? Who? Debbie Rowe. Oh, yeah, she's she's something else. <laughs> you believe you went there's to some, her after you? There's someone you want to hang out with. <laughs> yeah. For Lisa okay. Marie's tour dates, go to lisamariepresley.com. When, when do you go on tour? I think we start April 26th in uh, Florida. Florida? Starting St. Pete. When do you come to New York? I think it's the end of it, somewhere towards the end, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do you then. Right. See what's going on in my life. Yeah. Can you hold out till then? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't get married till then. <laughs> Diane Sawyer didn't play this. <laughs> All right. It's always great seeing you. you I wish you luck with the album. Thank you. You gonna come back again, or is this your last interview? No, I have come back. You had a good time. Lisa Marie. Hi. How did it go there? Um, it's, it's good. I thought it was fine. I'll let Howard do his thing, you know. He had a lot of compliments for you. He's sweet. He's really sweet after the show. What do you mean? What did he say? No, oh, he's just different, you know. He's just the... the, the I don't know. He's more... He's more... Relaxed just a normal, the normal conversation afterwards, yeah. But I just kind of let him do his thing and then, you know, sit and hope it's going to go over well. I don't know. The ex-husband questions, <coughs> the, uh, the daughter questions, those don't get you. Mm, you know, not really. Not anymore. What do you think those, what do you think those people think when they hear themselves being talked about, like Michael Jackson? I hope he's age. not thinking that I'm trying to, you know... I don't know what they're thinking. I just keep getting smashed into that, correlated with it, and I d don't have anything to do with it, so. All right, well, thanks for coming to the show and talking to us. Thanks for having me. Very, very